Are you frustrated with spam and empty form submission in your form? Introducing Advanced Form Validation of Fluent Forms. It's a process where the form can automatically check if the user data is correct or not and take action based on the form submission. Let's show you how it works. You will find Advanced Form Validation in Settings and Integration tab of any specific form. Here, you have to enable the Advanced Form Validation. Keep in mind, this is not a global setting. That means you have to enable it for those forms where you want it. Then, choose the input field and set the conditions here. Lastly, you will have to select whether the form will get rejected or submitted if the conditions are met. You can also choose either any or all of the conditions you have to meet for that form validation. Alright, let's take a break from technical discussions and challenge your mind with some mind-boggling examples. Here, we already have a form to work with. Let's activate the advanced form validation for this form. First off, we are gonna take the name field for validation. Set the rule. There are 10 plus rules to choose from. We will select less than to data length and enter two in the value so that no one can put just two random letters as name and submit the form. After that, we will have to set the validation type, whether to fail the submission or accept it if the conditions are met. Then click save settings. After saving the form, let's check if the form validation works or not. We will open this in a new tab for our convenience. Does it work? It does indeed. Great! Now, let's see what precautions we can set to prevent spam email submission. Hit this plus to add another condition. Select the email field from here. Set the conditions. Select does not contain and enter at the rate in the value. We already have this selected. So we're just gonna edit the message and save the settings and preview it. It works great, but FluentForms already has a way for email validation in it. If you enable that option, then you don't need to set it. So we can just delete this condition. Say you have a text area in your form. You want your users to tell something about themselves in that field, and it should be a bit lengthy. Just as before, hit this plus icon to add a condition. We will select the text area field here and set the condition to be greater than to data length. For example, let's set the value to 100. Though we have a dedicated max text length option in the text area, you can set the minimum text length area with the advanced form validation. Okay, we just set some form validation logics for this form. You can set form validation if either any or all of the following conditions match. Also, set the form validation type whichever suits best for your condition. Finally, you will even get to set a custom error message for your users. Okay, save it and have a look at the preview. Let's check if everything's working properly. These are some of the common uses of advanced form validation to prevent spam or bot submission. There are lots of form validation use cases available. Feel free to explore all of the form validation options and create the perfect validation for your form. Till then, happy form building!